Okay, now that we've done a few cosmetics, I want to start with food. Now, this is really important because I feel like, you know, your face is, it's dangerous. It's close to your nose, your mouth, your eyes, you know, it can get in your body. But food is more directly put into your body. So, I want to focus on this really quick. This is a whole grain granola yogurt topping, or I guess you can just eat it plain, I don't know. But I buy it for my yogurt. It's oats, honey, raisin, and almonds. And I got it from Aldi. And what I wanna stress is a lot of these products, I don't know about this one, I'm not prejudging, but a lot of products when it says like things like excellent source of fiber or it has things that are suggestive that it's healthy you want to be careful with those because they may have healthy qualities but that doesn't mean everything in it is healthy something that i've found since scanning a lot of these foods is it's the additives that's in them so like the food coloring the preservatives that's where things become more of a health issue not necessarily what you're eating but what's been put into what you're eating to make it have a longer shelf life to give it a nicer color it's the list goes on it's crazy So actually looking at it, it doesn't look like it's it's got a pretty good rating. It's rated as good. One thing that it does have on there for the food is it has the positive and the negatives. So it'll give you like your caloric amount, your sugar amount, fiber, all that good stuff, and it'll let you know. But all in all, this has no hazardous, hazardous additives. The only thing it is is it's a little caloric. And it's a little too sweet, which isn't shocking because like I said, a lot of these products, they will advertise as they're healthier. So it's rich in fiber, which is great, but it's not so good with your sugar, but it's still not horrible. You just need to watch that sugar intake because that can also cause you problems. Also, side note, I'm sorry. I just realized that my chair is very squeaky. I sit in it all the time, so I just tune it out, but it just became aware to me that you can probably hear it too, so I'm sorry. This is a really janky chair. It's my work chair, but I need to buy one ASAP. But for now, it works. Okay, so on to the next thing. I've got this um, Frontera fajita sauce. I make fajitas like at least once a week. Okay, sometimes I make it more than once a week, but we're not going to judge. We're just going to scan it and see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see with this one, it's pretty good good in protein fiber calories are fine saturated fats sugars additives but one thing that is an issue is it's high in sodium and obviously it is you if you can taste all the sodium in it but overall it's pretty well rated okay something else i want to check out so this macaroni i get is annie's it's supposed to be organic and i've been eating this for like the last two years but I've mainly been buying it because it's supposed to be healthier than craft. So we're going to scan it and see. Okay, so this is a good example of brands advertising their foods to be healthier when in reality they still are not the most healthy. So in this one, sodium phosphate is one of the additives that is marked as hazardous. Sodium phosphate is natural to the body, but in higher amounts it's dangerous it can lead to things such as cardiovascular disease it can disrupt your body's calcium metabolism and bone mineralization and have effects on the kidneys so this product definitely is not good for your heart your bones and looks like your kidneys there's also silicone dioxide that is also same thing but this one can disrupt liver function so definitely something to look out for as well as sodium is too high calories are a bit much and the saturated fat is a little high as well and unfortunately but not shockingly because like i said when stuff is advertised as healthier for you it typically is not sadly it has additives it's too sodium filled the caloric content's a little much and it's a little fatty and that's very disappointing because I do like this macaroni. But now I'm just like, okay, it's good to know. All right, these next two are something that we probably all have consumed at one point, if not still consume. Because they're cheap, they're easy, they're quick. So, yeah, we have our hamburger helper. 
and let's take a look at this and see what this looks like. Okay, so here we have our hamburger helper. So we've got three hazardous additives, one of which is the sodium phosphate, the other is silicon dioxide, which were the two also in the macaroni. This one has the caramel food coloring. Now, food coloring is particularly dangerous because it poses health risks such as carcinogenic. So there's a risk of cancer as well as immuno toxic compounds that are also found in the additives and trace amounts so those could be dangerous in that you've got a moderate risk because of the um, moni and diglycerides of the fatty acids in it so this is just something that may promote colon cancer so that's something that research is also finding um, there's some other things in there but the biggest thing is those hazardous additives and the sodium, it has way high of a sodium content. But other than that, it's low on sugar, saturated fat, and calories. The hamburger helper, helper is not shocking to me because honestly, like I was saying, when you have a lot of preservatives and stuff in food, it's usually not healthy. And to have something like this, you have noodles, cheese, Oh, well, I guess the meat doesn't come with it, but you have noodles and cheese. And these are two things that typically, like if you made noodles from scratch or you had like raw cheese, these things don't last very long. So they're heavily packed with preservative, preservatives so that you can easily make them and store them for long periods of time. This doesn't expire till May 2023. And I don't even know how long I've had this because I don't eat hamburger helper. But the other one I wanted to show you, ramen noodles. I don't eat ramen noodles either. I stopped eating them a long time ago because they always made me feel really sick after I ate them. And after I show you what's in it, it'll make sense why it makes me, it used to make me feel sick. All right, this one is one I was so excited to talk about because I feel like everybody eats ramen if they don't currently consume it. But it is very, very horrible for you. Like I just, so the it's got the caramel coloring just like the hamburger helper had which is hazardous and then something this has that the other things i've gone over don't have is the monosodium glutamate monosodium glutamate is a flavor enhancer now with this it may cause a variety of symptoms such as nausea migraine skin flushing and hot flashes so this explains why every time i ate it i'd feel like absolute crap also glutamate may contribute to weight gain obesity and diabetes as well as it's believed that it may play a role in the development of neurodegenerative and autoimmune disorders and that to me is very alarming if you think about how much people consume ramen noodles that's that's very alarming that it causes things like neurodegenerative so an example of a neurodegenerative condition would be like alzheimer's and then your autoimmune disorders like lupus so that's very alarming and of course it's high in saturated fats it's way too salty and it's high in calories the positives to it is it's good on protein fiber and sugar but not much else of course the ramen noodles aren't good. I didn't ever think they were. I was trying to explain to my brother the other day how ramen noodles are horrible to consume. My brother used to eat ramen noodles daily for the longest. Luckily he stopped doing it, but he was doing it for a while. But the main thing with this is the additives, which I'm not shocked by, your saturated fats, and then your caloric content as well as your sodium calories not so bad but it's the sodium and i've always known i mean you can taste it and you can taste the hypertension in the noodles like if you don't taste it I, there's something wrong with your taste buds because ramen is so unbelievably salty that little packet that comes with it it's insane I, just, I don't know if you eat ramen i am encouraging you to stop i know it's so cheap it's so easy but that cheap and easy is going to cost you more money down the road when you have diabetes and heart disease and all kinds of crazy stuff so if you can stop eating ramen i would highly suggest you stop okay something else i wanted to throw in there just because i was a little curious um i've got these green beans and i'm i lied these are definitely sweet peas. I'm sorry, I completely tried to play off. When I picked up my green beans, I accidentally
pushed my light over to the side a little bit and it just completely took my focus. But okay, so we've got the sweet peas. They are healthy harvest. They are excellent. Um, good source of protein, fiber, calories, low sugar, low sodium. So that's good because it's a veggie. It should be healthy. Okay, the last product I have are these Simply Nature organic granola bars. I'm not even going to lie to you, they taste horribly, so if they are horrible for you, it's not even a problem because I'm not eating them anyway. <laughs> but they are advertised as organic, non-GMO, verified, USDA organic, but like I said, you have to be careful because even though they they advertise them to be good, they may not be. And I feel like on this one, it's definitely going to be the sugar content. Okay, I stand correct. No, I was right. So they're rated as good, but like I said, the sugar content is too sweet. And a lot of the times when you see something um, advertised as like non-GMO, healthy, organic, a lot of the times the sugar content is not good. And that happens in a lot of food because you have to want to eat it. And sugar is one of those things that your brain is like, mmm, I love that. So it's like, it, it's like enticing to us. So sugar content is usually high in these healthier products, like, like the little, like the naked smoothie thingies that you get in the bottle. Those have more sugar in them than a lot of like soft drinks. And they're advertised as healthy, but they are not. So you have to be careful what you're eating and you have to be an informed consumer when you're buying food. Okay, let me backtrack a little because I don't want to say that those aren't healthy. But what I'm saying is you still have to be careful because even though something is produced as healthy, it still has its problems like sugar. For me, sugar consumption is huge. A big reason that I've been able to lose weight, regulate my periods for the most part, and live an overall healthier life is because I have watched my sugar intake. With PCOS, sugar is very bad because I already have an insulin resistance so my body already has a hard time breaking down sugars and using them for energy and so when I'm in introducing all these processed sugars these high fructose corn syrups like it's just not good so I've cut all that out for the most part but yeah it was I'm very shocked but not shocked at the same time to see that a lot of the products I have are not necessarily okay. safe. And let's be real, for a lot of us, a lot of these names and these ingredients in these products, like, I'm not going to remember sodium benzo benzoate off of the top of my head and be like, hmm, that's not good for you or that is good for you. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know these things off the top of my head. But this app is really helpful because it scans it for you. It breaks it down for you. It tells you, it ranks how risky the ingredients in each of your products is and it tells you information about that and I think that's awesome because you know you can see that something's dangerous but I am a curious mind I want to know why but I don't have time to go individually google every single product sift through articles sift through if it's a reliable resource I don't have time for that there's not enough time in the day for me to do that so this app is amazing it simplifies everything it tells you what it is it tells you why it's dangerous it lets you know how it's dangerous so if it's just an allergen which I would say an allergen is not as dangerous it's just very mildly incon or not mildly it can be very severe fairly inconvenient but like the additives and the things we consume like that I feel is so so important and it's good to know why it's dangerous so is it an endocrine disruptor is it a carcinogen which is cancerous because a lot of the things that I saw in the ingredients it was either endocrine or it was cancer which are the two I feel like main things that are always talked about so diabetes is a huge endocrine disorder as well as um, you know cancer is another huge thing that we hear about a lot and the products that we're consuming and using on a daily put us at even higher risk and we don't even realize it half the time I don't know that's it's just crazy to me to see all the things I haven't even scanned my whole house like I'm about to get up after this and go scan my whole house and see what else I have you definitely should do the same it's really interesting to see what you're using and I feel like you need to know what you're putting in your body 
I think Roxy's getting tired of me talking. She just let out this deep sigh. I really enjoyed making this video and I will definitely probably do more stuff like this because I can really talk about anything. I usually just talk about my life and my feelings because that's something that's easy for me to talk about. But stuff like this, like researching products and things like that and trying out stuff, I really love that kind of stuff. So if you want to see more of that, throw out suggestions, let me know. Um, thank you so much for being here with me today. Your time is precious, so I appreciate you spending your time with me on this Sunday. I know I say Sunday a lot. I promise I film these videos on Sunday, but sometimes I don't upload them until Monday. It just depends on my day. But happy Sunday. I hope you have a safe, happy, and fulfilling upcoming week. Um, I'm hoping it'll cool down because it's been hot as hell. But if not, stay safe, stay cool, have a great day, and thank you so much for being here with me today.